So what up guys, in this video we're gonna rate modded cars on Marketplace in my area, I'm in uh, Kentucky, we'll put the map 100 miles, so we're gonna take a look and see what we're working with. So first car that uh, catches my eye first is this 2012 Nissan 370Z uh, Touring Edition. I will not lie, it is pretty nice. The star um, headliner is a bit too much. Um, the steering wheel is pretty sick. The only thing I would probably change inside is probably get rid of the seats, but that's about it. Uh, it's on air, shoots flames, who would have thought? A Z shooting flames, I would never guess that. The Fitment, I mean, I'm digging it. It's pretty sick. It's got a nice little lip nice the colors nice I mean I would get in it's 16,000 82,000 miles it's an auto which I mean some hate some like I wouldn't mind it because this car is just gonna be hard parked in a parking lot or something like that I'd give this a solid I would say probably a eight and a half out of ten moving on to the next one so we'll just scroll, see what catches my eye here. So we'll go with this little toaster box. Colors awful. I mean, nothing about this car looks good, really. Curved wheels. I mean, the wheels aren't bad. I, I would rock them, but just not on this. It's got this big old, I guess that's a slammed enough sticker on the back glass. Um, I mean, it's just, there's no body lines. It's literally a toaster box. It's a clean rod, fun to drive, has the wheels lowered. It's got a uh, quick release steering wheel though. This thing's gonna do a lot of um, race car driving. Uh, let's see what else, has an amp, I mean that's that's all right. For another moderate four door car, would let another four door SI or four drive truck, let me know what you got. I mean, I would rate this probably a solid Mm, out of 10, I'd give it a 2.5. It's just not my style. I mean, I don't like the color. It's like, if you look at it, it's like got a molded wide body kit. But, I mean, it's built into the car, but it looks like a molded wide body kit that uh, was not painted. Yeah, I just think it's pretty hideous. 4800 bucks. I mean, I guess it's not bad, but yeah, 2 out of 10. We'll go to the next car. Let's see what we're working with. We'll go with a Corvette here. It's not it's not an import, but I mean, it's American Muscle. Inside's a little rough, um, a lot rough. Engine, I mean, it's clean, not bad. It looks rusted. That that don't look good. Um, I would give this. Let's see. Oh, it must bring her own wheels and tires. That's the best thing on the car: the wheels and tires. Other than it being a Corvette, but this is probably the ugliest Corvette model there is. A C4, it's hideous. But it's got a 383 stroker. I mean, that's pretty good. Been sitting a year, no time to finish. It probably is on its last leg. I'd give it a solid 6 out of 10 just because it's a Corvette. Let's go next car. Let's see what we're working with. Let's go with this dude. He's got the steering wheel outside. This is total import boy right here. I mean, it's got the quick release bumper. It's got a sunroof. That's a plus. The wheels aren't too bad. Uh, let's see. Mod list a little too long. I mean, what? Underglow lights, wheels, lowered steering wheel. That's about what I'm seeing. Guarantee there's no engine mods. 265,000 miles, 4,500 bucks. Ah, it's too expensive. I'd give this a 5 out of 10. Next car, let's go with. Uh, let's go with this Subaru. I'm really digging the color combo. I'm a big fan of Bright Wheels, as you know, if you've seen my car. Fitment's not the best, but, I mean, it's not bad. Clean inside. It's STI. It's got a rebuilt tie. It's kind of not good. 19,000. 
I mean, for 19 grand, I'd say it's worth it. I'd give that a seven and a half out of ten. Let's see what we're we working with next. Um, let's go with let's go with this Veloster. It's got this big wing for all the downforce this thing's producing, all the speed. You know, you, you had to have the sticker windshields. Uh, let's see, let's, what's the build list? You guys can read. It's got that short Ram intake race car. Um, probably has the burble tune. 15K for that? Ridiculous. I'd like to know where he's uh, buying his meds, if you know what I mean. 15,000? Ah. I guess that's what they're going for, but I don't see it. I'd give it a 4 out of 10. Let's see what else we're working with. Alright, I typed in, oh, I typed in modded cars, not import cars. That's why it's pulling up everything else. So let's go with this little Miata. Miatas are pretty, they're alright. Not my favorite. Definitely hate convertibles. Has to have a hard top. Do like the wheels, fitment's sick. It's got the little bash bar in the back. For 7000 definitely not worth. But I mean, for about five or 5500 I could see it. It's funny how every one of these cars have sticker windshields, but I'm a fan of it. It's got the little homemade door cards with some homemade, uh, well, not homemade, but some uh, home improvement washers over here from Lowe's. Uh, yeah, I, I'd give this a six and a half. It's pretty nice. I'm a fan. What are we working with next? Let's go with this. Uh, let's see. Let's go with this RX-8. You already know it's LS swap. Get rid of that rotary. LS2 T56 Magnum is a great uh, combo. It's got a rear main ceiling. Nah, that's not good. Um, hmm. You know, I, I don't understand why people cover up license plates. I really don't get that at all but anyways I was always a fan of the interior of RX-8s I mean for 15,000 by a little steep but it's LS swap and that LS swaps not cheap I, I would say it's worth it I would give this an 8 out of 10 just because it's an LS swap car can't go wrong there uh next car what we're we working with here uh Let's go with this Honda. Not a fan of these little... It literally looks like wind guards for a truck on the side of the uh, doors. Uh, the color of the wheels in the car, I do like that. Uh, let's see. It's not English. I'm guessing it's suspension D air. I guess it's on, it's on air ride. But that fitment is on air ride. It's pretty awful. But it's doing a little too much with the Honda. Like, we know it's a Honda logo. You have that on your car. You don't got to put it on your windshield. At least it's a manual. But, I mean, I could care less if it's manual or auto. I'd give that a 5. Okay, this car looks pretty sick. 2013 GT Mustang. Big fan of the uh, uh, hood. Hate these little... I don't know, air index on the side, a little tacky, a lot bit tacky. Rebuilt title, I wonder why. It's a Mustang. Uh, for 22000 definitely it. overpriced, in my opinion. I'd see 18 in it, but I'd give that a 6 out of 10. Let's see what else. Alright, here we go. Here's a quality car. 26,000, 2016 Mustang. I mean, it's not overdone. Pretty tasteful. 540 horsepower. It's pretty solid. I mean, for a car like this, though, I mean, 540 horsepower, it's on air ride and stuff and stand style. It's really, it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. But I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Maybe a little expensive, 26,000. Maybe like 22. But in the car market right now, it's... 
probably a solid price. Yeah, 8 out of 10 for that. It's pretty sick. Let's go with this car right here. Looks like it has a snow pile on the front of it. It's got the ugly side um, uh, flares. He forgot to upload a picture here. Poor guy. I mean, the wheels are nice. It's the same kind of wheels I have. Ford Star F14s, it looks like. I don't know why he's got all this arrow on this car. Like, it's some time attack car. But, I mean, if you took these little um, fender flares off, or, I mean, keep them but paint them to match the car, color match it, take off the snow plow on the front of it, it's going to be a pretty solid car for thirteen grand. I mean, to do those a couple things in that car, I, I would definitely see 13000 in it. With how it sets in this picture right here, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. You take off the snow plow, the little fender flares, and or paint match them, I'd give it a six and a half. It's not that bad of looking of a car. The mods kind of kill it though. All right, I guess this will be our last car that we do. Uh, we'll go with this Mustang. That CTSV is nice. It's twin turbo, but it's pretty sick. Eight out of ten on that. But let's uh, go back to that other car. I done lost it. Where to go? Here it is. This Mustang. Car runs straight. I mean, I'd hope it'd go straight. I bet it doesn't have a motor, though. Uh, usually they put the bad stuff at last, but I don't see nothing bad. 27.5 for that car? That seems pretty cheap. Uh, let's see. Don't waste mine and your time. Waste. Uh, poor guy. Spelled that wrong. Times will discuss with serious fires only, so it's a no time car. Oh, I see no time garage nitrous LS car. I mean for twenty seven thousand five hundred dollars, I think that's a solid buy. I mean notchback Mustangs, big cow hood, fender exit, or bumper exit. Can't go wrong. I mean it's probably definitely like a Mm, low sixes, high fives car, I would imagine. For 27.5, I mean, that's a solid price. I, I mean, I'd give this a 9.5 out of 10. It would be a 10 if it was a Chevy, but it does have a Chevy motor, so I mean, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a 9.9, .9, and that's just because it is still a Ford. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's a little different from what I usually do, but. I figured it was something fun, spice it up a little bit. Let me know if you like it. Until next time, peace out, guys.